even kabuki actors would learn how to play taiko and would learn how to play shamisen, mm -hmm. even though they would never perform it. I mean, even on stage when there was an actor playing shamisen, they wouldn't do it for real, but they knew exactly how to play it, and then the actual musicians would be playing it. So you can't think of it unconnected. It's automatically connected for character, for plot, for movement, for atmosphere. Okay. There's no concept of it being separated. In the West, we can go, there's a play without music and a play with music. They couldn't even conceive of being separated. It's all yeah. together, automatically. Uh, right and on. for the music, like, would that have been notated and yes, reproduced? Yeah. I don't have my book here, but I actually have, yeah, there is a notation system. Oh, wow. The music would be the exact same, like all the movements and what was said would be the exact same. And there's no conductor saying, it, they just know. Uh, would the musicians be sort of off stage? Uh, they're on the they're on the side. Well, it depends once again on the play, but okay. they're uh, in Skeroku. They're actually on stage. Actually, I had kind of a, a curtain that came forward or a screen in front of them, and when they play, it would come up so you could see them. And then when when they're done, ah. it would with Taiko, the first thing you have to do is you have to make your sticks out of big blocks of wood, and you have to learn how to skin. Uh, the drums and how to do all, you know, basically do all of that because especially with taiko drums It's very complicated to uh, keep them in tune. It's a lot of work and they're all, all with the uh, uh, With the type of rope that you have to use and so on which is also the drums are big in kabuki as well, but there's even um, Tsutsumi, which is a smaller drum that you kind of, it's over your shoulder and you hit it with the, the one finger like this to make this kind of sound, but it's it's all wrapped uh, together with uh, rope and you have to squeeze the rope at the exact right time to get that particular kind sound. Kind of like the whole thing where you, put your cheek, you make a teardrop sound. Yeah. Yeah. This drum was set up outside the theater and what you would do is a half hour before the show started you would play the taiko drum to tell the people oh there's a kabuki play coming up. Yeah, I don't have sticks but you're set up and basically you're hitting you're hitting the drum the the uh, drum like this and there these are long sticks like this and it's boom 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 and then it is a joha cue but cuz you go yo boom and so on and the voice is important that's part of with taiko and so on. now there's another drum that i had to play during the performance and then you're kneeling and it's a, and then there's sticks about this long and they're about that thick oh wow and, and then you're doing you and then and boom and so on and then you're doing whatever and skate time. back and all okay. right and so that that movement is important. You have your person who, who plays uh, the ske, which is these, it's this wood floor and these two wooden pieces. And that actually, that's how you would open the curtain mm -hmm. and so on. And then when some characters would go on the hanamichi, which is the walkway in the front of the theater, and they come in and walk, then you'd have these type of sounds that would go with it, and then they would do a mie, which is this kind of stylized movement that they would actually would would like freeze to and do this kind of head gesture and this weird face. <laughs> and, so on. and then you would have sounds to emphasize it. So when they would go into it, you would hear that. Yeah, the flute. Yes, I've never tried it. Never done it. The flute would be depending on the situation, which I understand had to do with. Um, um, high tension, high drama, as well as setting a scene. I mean, it's all just, I'd have to look at the exact moment of a particular play and how it's used because that's how it works. And this is the main instrument that's used in Kabuki. I mean, I get, you won't get the sound because it's broken, but this whole idea was to, the plucky. Okay. You pluck it up. This is how you would play it, kneeling. This was to have so it's smooth. And the shamisen like typically played what kind of role in the music? There's different types of kabuki plays, and one of them are dance. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're just pure for the movement that's going on stage. Then they're singing, and there, there's it always would encompass accompany uh, um, an actual person singing. 
and uh, then it would em emphasize gestures and walks and uh, movements on stage. Okay. So there would be intros when someone would come on stage and then certain movements that they would do and then there would be uh, dances. Thank you so much. No problem. Excellent information and great help to us. Uh, we, we'd like to show you our flute that we